Number 58, letter A. Calculate the rate of heat transfer by radiation from a car radiator at 110 degrees Celsius into a 50 degrees Celsius environment if the radiator has an emissivity of 0.75 and a 1.2 meter square surface area. All right, guys, these are the radiation formulas. Check out number 55. I described them a little more in detail. We're talking about a temperature change, so therefore I'm going to use this uh, equation down here. So there's going to be power, and the net power will be equal to the Stefan-Boltzmann constant multiplied by the emissivity, multiplied by the area over which that object is radiating energy from, then multiplied now by the temperature difference, all right, between the two and between the two, the environment and probably the object you'll be given, all right? And remember, only Kelvin temperatures in here. So basically, we have everything we need to find the net power here. So the Stefan-Boltzmann constant, that's going to be 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8. The emissivity of the object in this problem they gave it to us is 0.75. Remember, perfect uh, emissivity is 1, uh, or I should say perfect black body radiation is 1. Perfect reflection would be 0. Um, and here the area they told us again was 1.2. We love these problems. They're just nice plug-in. And then the uh, temperature difference. So we'll take the larger. Remember, it has to be in terms of... Uh, has to be in terms of Kelvin. So just take the 273 Kelvin, right, and then add 110 to it. And what do we get? We get 383 then. That's the first temperature in Kelvin minus then the second. So take the 273 and add to that now 50. And what do you get? So that's 323. And that's again raised to the fourth. And now all we have to simply do is calculate, okay? So 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8. Multiply them by 0.75 multiplied by 1.2, multiplied now by parenthesis, 383 raised to the fourth, minus 323 uh, raised to the fourth. And here we go. We get about 543 or so watts. Okay. So that is about, you know, that. so that's the power that is being radiated on out. Okay. And then what's part B saying? Is this, is this a significant fraction of the heat transfer by an automobile engine to answer this? Assume this power. Uh, all right. So I'm just going to simply, I'm going to just do a quick estimation. So uh, if this is the actual amount of uh, power supplied by the car, but it's only 25% efficient, what that means is that the t this, is, this value is only really 25% of then the total amount of power that the, um, uh, that the machine is generating, Okay. So we'll assume that then, let me see, we'll assume that then the uh, remaining amount, or, it, or so let's just first find the total power and then I'll explain it. So 1.5 kilowatts, divide them by 0.25, all right, and that will get us basically, well, basically we're just multiplying that by four, right? So this is going to be six kilowatts, okay? Um, a quarter of this, right, is going to useful work, and then the uh, other three quarters of it is then going to uh, heat, all right, being lost as heat. That's why it's only 25% efficient. The remaining is just being lost as heat. So therefore, uh, that means that 75% of this number here is going to be uh, 4.5, right, 4.5 kilowatts. And this is what's being generated in heat, okay? Uh, that being the case, right, now we have to figure out, well, this was the, this was the, and this is in kilowatts, so let's first convert that into watts, right? So that's going to be 4,500 watts, Okay, and that's the amount of heat being generated. On the other hand, um, we have now the uh, net heat being radiated, right? Uh, rate of heat being radiated here um, is only 543. So essentially what they're asking us is just to figure out the proportion here, right? So it's going to be 543. That is the amount of heat being radiated by the car divided by the total amount of heat produced by the car, right? And when I say total amount, I'm talking about rates here. So they can also be considered though the total amounts per second if you wanted. So 543 divided by 4,500, what do we get? About 0 0.12. That basically works out to be about 12%. I mean, we're talking about a really, um, a, a fairly small value, okay? And that's basically it. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, I guess, watching the video. We appreciate it very much. Thank you.